Beginning November 8th and running through January 4th, Hasted Kreitler will be exhibiting an artist, a curator, and a rabbi walk into a bar. New paintings by Mark Dennis. The title of my show, An Artist, a Curator, and a Rabbi Walk Into a Bar, references the meta joke. And the meta joke is a joke within a joke where the blanks and the spaces between the narrative are filled in by the listener. So in my case, with respect to my paintings, I strive to create images of plausible situations that are both staged and slightly voyeuristic that wind up in absurd contexts that the viewer is then enabled to fill in the blanks. I'd like to think my paintings wind up in a place where Velázquez, Magritte, and Norman Rockwell meet. There's a really intriguing component about Velázquez and Norman Rockwell's work where when I'm looking at that image that they painted, I often wonder what happened just before that image froze forever in time and what will happen afterwards. And this is something that I try to incorporate in my newest body of work. And I think I achieve my most effective results when I'm painting when my sense of humor comes across because I really think that the way I speak sometimes in a tongue-in-cheek manner or when I'm uh, making inferences, I, I think that my art is most effective when actually people get the humor behind it. I think a lot of artwork nowadays is not that funny. What, have I, what happened to the sense of humor in the art world, especially in the contemporary art world? I mean, Goya was a funny son of a bitch. And I think it's within those details that I can really seduce the viewer. There's an absurd context. There's a familiar and a comfortable context. There are contemporary and pop cultural references, and there are art, art historical references. And all that together in its visual amalgamation amounts to multiple layers of meanings that within them there's a sense of humor, there's a smile, there's a quirk, there's a step back. There's, I think at times even when I do this in the studio, I, I want to just move this person who's standing in front of me out of the way. The End of the World, the painting where I reference Courbet's The Origin of the World, what I've done is I've placed a viewer in front, a girl, a female viewer, in front of the vagina of the painting by Courbet, where it sits on the wall at the Louvre in the exact frame in which it's housed. And what that reference is, is the underlying notions of voyeurism and how we visit galleries nowadays and museums nowadays, and there's always someone in front of us. We have to wait for them to move over. But I've noticed that I find myself just as intrigued looking at their hair, the back of their necks, their shoulders, whether it be male or female, in relation to the piece that I'm looking at. In my painting titled Uncontrollable Beauty, a massive pile of pink, reddish colored flowers. This has a really interesting story to it. I was in my studio showing uh, a collector my works and this individual asked me after showing them a number of paintings if I made sculpture. And I found it to be uh, somewhat absurd, you know, but also in a way uh, enlightening, kind of inspiring. It got me thinking. But I don't make sculpture. I never mentioned I make sculpture, but I was asked if I made sculpture. So in my mind, I processed the idea of if I did make a sculpture, what would it look like? And then I thought of that famous quote, a sculpture is something that you back up into when trying to get a better look at a painting. And I don't know if it was Barnett Newman, I don't really know who said it, but I've always loved that saying. And I thought I'm gonna combine that, a little tongue in cheek humor, with the idea that I was asked if I made sculpture after showing this person only paintings and talking about painting. So m this is my idea of if I were to make a sculpture, what it would look like. But rather than making the sculpture, I painted an image of that sculpture. And I called it Uncontrollable Beauty, which is the title of a series of essays about the idea of the beautiful and how it's perceived in visual imagery. I've often thought looking at art was sort of like choosing sides, that we were either cheering for a certain artist or cheering for a certain painting or not, and that debates uh, were born out of those passionate views one way or the other. So as a sports fan and as an art lover, I combine these two notions of passion in the painting 
the necessity of judgment, where a Dallas Cowboy cheerleader, typically referred to as America's team, thus America's cheerleaders, a very fascinating group of women throughout the years who have cheered on their team. Here I present her standing in front of a painting that actually comments on, questions, and criticizes the feminine mystique as well as female beauty. And we don't know what her face is saying because we can't see it. We just see her from behind. But she is serving as our surrogate as we cheer on this painting, which has become a heroic painting. It's one of MoMA's best pieces. And um, it's really just a group of whores. In the piece titled Devotion, which depicts a bodybuilder painting on a massive wall juxtaposed with a very small image of a, an actual guard standing next to it. The idea behind that was, I often wondered in this digital age, in this day and age where we are actually viewing more things online than we are in person, if someone saw that painting online, they would probably believe that the painting that they're looking at is not the whole thing in its entirety, but rather the piece on the wall within the painting. And this prompted the whole idea of the meta joke, that what you're looking at is hard to believe. Did Mark Dennis really make a painting of a bodybuilder that size? And where is it if he did? I've never seen it. And yet it's really not that big, it's relatively small, diminutive in fact, compared to what one might perceive online. But the idea was that I was taking all those underlying notions that we have from looking at artwork online, trying to figure out the scale of those things and playing with the visual uh, relationships. Why is it important to have a guard standing next to a work of art, or a painting in this case, in my case. And so the idea of having a guard standing next to a painting is to create an absurd context, because you're wondering again, why? But at the same time, you're believing in the lie that it's telling about the sanctity of that work. And that, to me, fascinates me. How we believe, how we're so easily manipulated. View the works of Mark Dennis at Hasted Kreitler from November 8th through January 4th.